We've got plastic planters here, wagon wheel rims, a copper still. We've got an old oil barrel. So you're literally in a different world. Hi, everyone. Hi, Anna. Hi. So my name is Anna, and this is my friend and colleague, Marta. Hi, everyone. And this is John and this is Phil. And before we start playing, I think it would be nice if you all tell us your name so we know we can meet each other better. Wanna start, Maya? My name is Maya. I have a friend named Maya. Good. And I'm nine years old. You're nine years old. My name is Nina and I'm six years old. Me too. My name is Lynn and I'm six. <laughs> Me too. Clementine? Hi. Hi, this is Clementine. <laughs> you can move all around and listen to all the objects you want. We pretend we're pirates. You can pretend you're pirates, yeah. <laughs> With pirates who are listening to the object. The idea is that you drive sound into the middle of this object up here, and that radiates through all of these rods out to the floats. <laughs> Each of the floats, because of the length of the rod and the type of the material, will have a different sonic property, even though the signal that comes into it is completely the same. We come in to an empty room and essentially start figuring out the placement of the, the larger of the objects. We then start filling in and creating these paths and listening positions, and then start figuring out how to get the objects to frame each other um, in the most inviting way. If that comes this way, I'm much better with this here than there. Yeah. And I'm OK this, taking this and... This out. And do yeah. we have someone in the grid? Um, I'm going to want some slack pulled in on this. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. Because that solves another problem. Well, that, they're related. I guess it's my regard for, for materials and, and how they each have their own sound. Here, you, you put sound through it, you observe how it works, and then you, you find out, oh, it likes this. <laughs> this actually is a very historic uh, you know, video in the sense that uh, David never really spoke much in public about his work. People come in and, and they they see it only a sculpture. Other people come in and they they uh, they want to experience every little bit of it. You find people, uh, for instance, if, if there's a, a ring like this. They'll be all over it. He was a very quiet man. <laughs> part of it Except when it came to making sound. Right. <laughs>